Okay, so our next type of factoring comes from a, a very common uh, format that we might find in among our uh, algebraic expressions, and that is a format that looks like this. If I've got a number that is squared or an expression that is squared, doesn't matter, anything that can be written with a square or an even exponent. So in other words, any even exponent is actually can be written as a square. Okay, minus, and that is where the difference comes in. In mathematics, difference means minus um, of two squares. In other words, there's another term or expression or anything that is being squared. Um, or an even exponent, okay, and that is called the difference of two squares. Now, how do we get the difference of two squares when we multiply two things? Well, let me show it to you like this. If I were to have two expressions, uh, a binomial, where I have a plus b, in other words, any expression, let a, a can be anything, any expression plus any other expression, and this binomial is multiplied to another expression where I've got any expression, the same one as that one though, okay, but this time minus the other expression. Okay, so it's two brackets being multiplied together where the brackets inside are exactly the same, but uh, there's a different sign between the two terms. Now, what happens when I multiply this out? Well, distributing it, I get the a plus b is distributed to the a and then plus the a plus b gets distributed to the negative b okay now we distribute again so we get a times a is a squared plus a b and then for this one we get the a times negative b is negative a b and then the b times negative b is negative b squared now you can see why this becomes only two terms because the middle terms here cancel one another out if if I own a B and then I owe a B then I'm I end up having no a B's left okay so in the end I simply have a squared minus B now you can see why the signs in here had to be different the different signs here causes these two terms to have different signs and therefore cancel one another out. So in the end we only have the first term times the first term and the last term times the last term and since there's different signs in here they end up being a negative because positive times negative is negative and negative times positive is negative so when signs are different and they get multiplied we always get a negative okay so this is what we get okay a squared minus b in other words if we want to factorize any expression that has this format that somehow is a number squared minus another number squared or expression squared minus a different expression squared I can simply write it as two brackets with the square root of each expression as the two terms well let me let me show you a few examples um, and let me actually do that in the next video so in this one we'll only look at the, the theory in the next video we'll look at a few examples see you there